Hey everyone, my name is Keegan. Um, I'm putting together a YouTube channel uh, that will comprise of just a bunch of projects that I like to work on. Um, I'm not exactly sure where I want to take the channel, um, so hopefully you stick around and, and see some of the stuff that I work on. Yeah, so essentially the first project I'm working on here is a diesel heater, uh, a portable one that is. So the entire thing fits into this box. Um, you could take it with you camping. Um, I have used it once already uh, for actually camping in the snow. Uh, we took it up to the mountains and it performed perfectly. Um, my, my uh, I guess, use case is, is in the back of my older Land Rover Discovery. Um, this can be used in a rooftop tent, I mean, you name it, the, the possibilities are endless. And so uh, I wanted to show you just around the, the project itself give you a bit of, uh, of an idea and hopefully inspire you. If you want to build your own, feel free to do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is there's a, a good chunk of parts on this heater that uh, I came up with and designed and then 3D printed. I'll go ahead and link all of those parts down in the description below. Feel free to take some of them, take all of them, uh, print them out yourself, uh, use them on your own projects. Uh, but again, hopefully this uh, helps to inspire you in your guys' builds. All right, so let's just take a quick, uh, I guess, walk around of the heater. So right up front is the fuel tank. This is a five liter tank. Uh, I, in the night that I tested it, it was roughly, I wanna say maybe six hours or so that I was using it. Uh, and it was about, I didn't fill it up all the way. So I'd say a little, maybe like a third of the tank was about six hours. So if you wanna do the math on that and see how long a full tank would last you, one night shouldn't be an issue at all. Um, on this side, uh, you're gonna see the actual uh, diesel engine exhaust. Now this is a what they like to call a, a through hole. Uh, it's mostly used in marine application, but it helps prevent the heat from the exhaust uh, from melting the, the actual, uh, the plastic case. This is the hot air that you would be using to heat up your space. So this would be fresh air coming out that's breathable, that's hot, that keeps you nice and toasty. So what I've done is I've come up with this intake here that does two things. So one, it's the heater's actual breathing air intake. So cool air comes in, gets heated up through the heat exchanger and then out the other side. And then also there is a, a computer fan down here which helps to keep all the components inside the box uh, nice and cool so nothing is, is getting damaged. And then down here is our power input. So some of you may be wondering what's the stuff over here? So let's just take a, a quick second to, to talk about that. This is what goes inside my uh, Land Rover Discovery. Um, Essentially, this panel rolls up in the, the rear window. I just roll the window down and then it fits in and then roll the window up. Uh, this is the inlet for the heat. So I've actually brought a piece of uh, the heater tube, up, just a small one so you can see what that looks like. But essentially, uh, this piece would connect to the heater, you know, a longer version again. And then on the back side here, this is kind of just scrap, so bear with me. It essentially looks something like that. And so uh, coming off of the heater, you've got one tube. I like to keep this just kind of next to the car uh, when I'm out in, you know, in the snow. Um, but essentially this pipe comes up from the ground to the rear window. And then when I'm sleeping in the back of the rig, uh, hot air is coming out here. And you can change the direction, whichever you know way you want. Uh, but where things get kind of fun here, at least I think, is you've got your own thermostat. So when this is powered up, you actually can change the settings of the heater itself. And it's got a little uh, thermostat that understands the temperature inside the car. So, you know, if, if you want to set it, um, this is in Celsius and forgive me, I'm so, so bad with conversions. So I'm just gonna talk in Fahrenheit. Uh, but essentially, if you wanted to say, hey, Let's make it 80 degrees in the car, set it to 80 degrees, and then forget it. The heater will go up to temp and then sit there. Now, from what I've heard, these little heaters don't like to 
kind of hover in a low heat mode. They like to be on hot all the time. And that's perfectly fine because where I plan to take this is in icy cold situations where I want the heat pumping all night long. So I'm just gonna turn this up all the way to the highest temp of heat and just let it go. Um, yeah, so that's what my plan is. On the back side, again, this is where that heat comes in. So that's pretty easy to understand. Um, but this part is, is kind of what my solution to uh, a bunch of wires uh, was. So instead of a bunch of power wires going into this and or uh, into these components, we just have one cable. So I've actually brought it here so you can take a quick peek, but it's just one single cable. So this part plugs into the heater. And this part plugs into the control panel. Now, inside the car, we've got our cigarette lighter plugged into here, and that's it. So we have actually got the 12 volts running down to keep the heater going, and the heater temperature sensor and the five volts that come from here to power the thermostat are running up a different power line in here. And everything's handled right behind this piece here. All right, so here's inside the box. So right here, uh, this is the engine itself uh, or the heater. And um, you can pick these up on Amazon anywhere or eBay, anywhere from like 150 bucks to 200 bucks, somewhere in that range. And so I'll, I'll just kind of explain how um, they work. So essentially it's a small engine in here and um, cool air is brought in this side and that cool air, uh, you know, fl it flows over the hot engine fins and then out this side. So all that's happening is the cool air is coming through and getting warmed up by the, the hot engine and that warm air is what you're actually breathing on the other side, right? That's what's coming into, you know, your tent or your vehicle uh, of choice. And so all the combustion process is in a sealed area, which is down here. So uh, this is the intake for the engine for the combustion part. Uh, and this is the exhaust. Now this is all coated. Uh, this is, you know, uh, heat resistant uh, um, exhaust tape and it's all sealed up with, with the proper exhaust compounds. Uh, but all that exhaust fumes comes out here and it's not, breathe, uh, not in your breathing air. Uh, I've got the fuel pump mounted up here. Uh, it actually runs through the front of the case to the fuel tank on the front of the box. These needed to be at a special angle, so 35 degrees. So I designed this piece here, um, which is at 35 degrees. It actually utilizes the same two bolts that the fuel tank used to mount. So we're able to just save some space there and utilize those. Um, coming down here, this is essentially where um, all the wiring takes place. So I'll go ahead and zoom in over here. All right, so this is a, uh, don't mind my band-aid. This is a uh, DC converter. Uh, essentially it's a step-down converter that uh, is taking any voltage over 12 volts and just making sure that it stays at a constant 12 volts uh, and a constant 10 amps or more. Um, my battery system that I use this uh, to keep this whole thing running is actually a 36 volt system. So um, this actually works really well because um, I can get a constant 12 volts without any issue. Um, so again, that power plug is on the back side here and it comes in. So uh, as it comes in, it uh, is converted to 12 volts. That's what powers up our fan. That's what powers up the heater. Um, and then uh, the actual plug that the heater is shipped with is right down here. So everything's kind of wired in. Uh, again, this is our um, kind of like a cool air to keep all of our components like our converter cool uh, which has its own fan as well 
as well as uh, feeds air to the engine um, combustion intake. Right here. All right, so yeah, so again, it's about 32 degrees outside or about zero degrees Celsius. We're right around 14, 15 degrees Fahrenheit, which is again about 57, 58, like right in that range Fahrenheit. Uh, it's been going for about 10 minutes, uh, warming up the car. It feels already pretty toasty in here. Uh, let's go ahead and just get an idea of how much heat is coming out of the heater vent. So. It is right around 150 degrees Fahrenheit coming out of the heater vent. So, you know, obviously it won't heat up the car to that temp, but we do have a good chunk of heat coming out. It's pretty cool. Well guys, thanks for checking out my build. Um, again, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, ask in the comment section below. I'm gonna go ahead and post my Instagram channel down um, in the in the description too uh, if you have any direct messages that you want to message me on there uh, all, again all the parts that I came up with the intake uh, any of the mounting brackets uh, you know really any of the pieces that I designed those are going to be all linked to my Thingiverse uh, account which is right down below uh, feel free to, to snag any of those if you'd like um, and yeah I, I'm excited to see if anybody uses any of these parts and uh, feel free to, um, uh, if, you, if you'd like, subscribe uh, and uh, share it with your friends. So thanks again, everyone. Have a good one.